Okay, so I've wanted to do this video for quite a long time. Now I thought was the time to make it. Welcome to my riding story. Ever since I was a little girl, I was fascinated by horses and anything that was remotely relevant to them would hook my attention. In 2013, me and my family moved to an estate in the Midlands. There were some people who owned horses and that was great because we were allowed to stroke them and even sometimes look after them when the owners were away on holiday. If ever me and my family were at a fair or woodland park and I saw something that looked like a horse, I would beg to ride it, just for the satisfaction of it. This is the earliest picture I can find of me riding a pony. Jack, he was around 13 hands and he was a little angel. My memories of riding him are crystal clear. Whenever an opportunity came up to even stroke a horse, I would jump at the chance. I was totally captivated by horses and ponies. Whenever not daydreaming about owning a horse, I would be looking after it and spending time with my dogs, rabbits and other animals. Fast forward to 2015. This was my first proper riding lesson. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of this pony, but I believe he was around 11 to 12 pounds high. He was a little angel and he looked after me really well and we had a lot of fun that day. Here was my first ever hack. I fell in love with this little grey pony. His name was Barney or Rubble. He was the cheekiest but best little pony and he was the first pony I ever cantered and jumped on. Unfortunately I do not have any videos of that but it was really fun and I will never forget it. This beautiful little pony is called Petra. She looked after me really well and I'll never forget this pony. Before my riding lesson, I remember seeing her jump and I really wanted to ride her and I actually did. Many birthdays I had consisted of riding lessons and loads of little model horses, but this lesson was probably the most special. Here are some clips. This was the first actual lesson that I cantered in. It was actually really fun that day. Although I couldn't steer and it didn't look very good, it was in that lesson that I knew one day a pony would really be mine. This was also actually the first time I fell off. I was trotting but the girth was really loose so I slipped off out the side door. Unfortunately for the next year I didn't actually do any riding but it was about August of 2019 and I started having riding lessons at the local state. This is actually my second lesson at the stables. The first was a test to see what I could do. Every couple of weeks, my sister and I would ride there. The pony I'm riding here is called Scamps. He's a 10 year old and 12 hands high. I could criticize my riding all day long, but there is nothing bad I could say about little Scampy. Also in this lesson is the first time that I jumped at a riding school. I look back at these clips and realise how much I appreciate the horses I rode and thank them for how much I, they improved my riding. I rode quite a few horses at the stables. I will add clips of them individually. Lindy is first. Anything you ask her to do, she will do it gladly, which makes her definitely one of the favourite horses at the stables. Then there is Quill. I think he was around 16 to 20. I don't really have any of clips of him, but here is one from the first lesson at the stables. Next is Magic. Although she could be a bit stubborn and cheeky, she looks after you well and she is really sweet. Last but certainly not least is Henry. 
He was the sweetest boy and I loved him so much. I would generally beg to ride him at nearly every lesson. I don't have many clips of him, but I remember he loves jumping and would take everything in his stride. In early March, when I heard about coronavirus, I knew that it would mean riding would be cancelled. It was. I was devastated. For three months, I did not ride. I barely even stroked a horse. After the three months, I rode a friend's horse two times, but after that, nothing. On the 1st of July 2020, my long-lived dream finally came true. After years of waiting and dreaming for that day to come and have it finally be here blows my mind. I cannot stress how grateful I am to have these amazing animals in my life. On that day, there was many tears of happiness. I can't believe how lucky I am. Though these past six months have been hard, I have fallen off and sat bucks and bolts, but that doesn't make me love them any less. They are my dream come true. They make my life complete. This is a moment captured when Rupert and Freedom first met each other. Freedom was originally just a company pony for Rupert, but she has shown how amazing she is at riding and when we first sat on her, she surprised us all and there was just no way that we couldn't take it further. We started taking her on walks and she slowly started to gain our trust. We then started to use more bridle-like head collars to get her used to the feel. Around two weeks later, we started walking and trotting in the paddock. As we didn't have a saddle that fit her, we had to do bareback. After taking freedom on multiple hacks, we finally got her a saddle. After taking to bareback so well, the fact that she took to the saddle amazingly is just incredible. She has come so far in six months and she has just done amazing and I'm so proud of her. On September 12th, three months after owning her, we finally had our first canter. On September 27th, we had our first gallop. It was incredible. After a couple of weeks of riding Freedom in the saddle, she started to become difficult. There was talk of stopping riding her because she would throw you off and sometimes bolt. But because we had come so far with her, I just didn't want to let that happen. I didn't want to make her just a company pony because what she had achieved in so little time amazes me. After that, we decided to switch back to bareback. But I'm glad I did, and I'm glad I didn't give up on her because she has helped me so much and bareback has improved my riding a lot. On the 4th of November we even had our first bareback canter together. 
and the next ride after that we had our first bareback gallop. After a few weeks of doing straight bareback, we got freedom a saddle. This saddle fits her much better and is really comfortable for her and me. It was the first saddle that I have jumped in of my own. Although I love dressage and it is probably my favourite discipline, I have found a passion for jumping with freedom. Although she is not the best and she still has a long way to go, how far she's come in such little time amazes me. From being the skittish company pony to galloping across fields with no saddle and jumping what I never thought she could is incredible. She has achieved more than I could ever imagine in only six months. I couldn't be more proud of her and I am so excited to see where our future takes us. Hi everybody, so yes, that was my writing story. It took quite a lot of editing but it was really fun to make and I really really hope you enjoyed it. If you made it to the end thank you so much and I really hope you have a wonderful day and happy new year again so yes I will see you in my next video. Bye!